how we are going to catch the arguments that we are passing through the navigation. So we have this navigation here. We just refactored from using routes to using serializable to pass data. And this serializable actually has post ID. And then when we navigate to this destination, we are getting this post ID and then we navigate. I am going to add some breakpoints here so that we can see how we can unparse or get this data that we are passing through the navigation, which is, by the way, available in the view model out of the box if you are using the safe state handle. The safe state handle will get that argument that we are passing through the navigation and we can directly use them here in the view model. I have here an emulator. So now this is the navigation. So I'm clicking on item and item is the basically the ID that I'm sending in the details. And by using this item, you can load some additional data like the details of the item. But the idea is that let's see how I can catch this item ID on the other side. Here I click. So the first thing that happens is we call navigate. I'm going to navigate and to navigate, I'm creating this destination post details destination and I pass there the post ID and this is the destination. So if I click next, if you take a look at the safe state handle here, what does it have? You see post ID four. So internally it maintains some sort of key value like a map post ID being the name of the property of the serializable class that we are passing. So post ID, and then the value is what we have passed when navigating. And then from here, what we do in the view model, I'm creating a value when the class instantiates post details arguments, and I make post details destination, passing there the safe state handle. That's for my convenience and close this constructor. I mean, just use the types, but I could directly in my view model, I could directly say private while well, post ID is um, safe state handle, get string post ID, that's the key. And then I can use this post ID here instead of this, and then I don't need this. And that's the same, you know, I can just eliminate all this and then I don't need this or this. So this ends up being cleaner. What I wanted to show is basically here, backstack entry, we can say val args is backstack entry to route. And then you can say post details destination. We can also do something with these arcs. We can pass it down the composition if you want, or you can just print line. Now I'm just going to run it. And let's see the log cat. Let's jump out. Yeah. Anyway, not probably the best. I think I would just suggest uh, using the safe state handle inside the view model because you're anyway having a view model. Yeah. In terms of refactoring here, what we've done is we have converted whatever we had here as a route into a serializable. Additionally, here we can add to make it nicer from safe state handle. That's going to be a function and it will return post detail destination. And then here we can say return detail destination require not now safe state handle get post ID like that. Or let me maybe extract this. But I don't know what's better. Is it the constructor that we had before or this one? Up to you. But here we could put back this and we can say post the destination from safe state handle. And boom, we don't need this. We can uncomment this. So if I had here, for example, post ID, let's say user ID as well, it could be int. Then here we would do post ID, user ID is, again, this would be int. The key is that this name should also reflect here. And then we can pass here post ID, user ID. But also when, when creating the instance here, when navigating there, we have to also supply or just pass there, let's say. Now it's going to still work. <clears throat> and we can use it here as well. Let me see. Here we can say post ID and then user arguments user ID. Yeah, that's why actually when you are having multiple properties, that's why it is nicer to actually have that in a class. 